Welcome to Softball Sunday, everybody. The favorite day of the week for people whose favorite day of the week is Softball Sunday. This one fits like a glove, swinging by Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers for Two Dog Mom. But before we proceed, I would like to call to the front of the class and embarrass Mr. Gonzalo Gonzalez, Gonzo for short, and Stevie O for signing up for the Patreon supporter of the Cause Club. You two, thank you for your support. And if you would like to find out what that's all about, the link, of course, will be in the description. Right down to the strumming pattern. Grab yourself a D chord and you are going to go down, 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 up, down, up. Followed by A minor 7, same exact strumming pattern. A minor 7 is A minor without your ring finger, so it has an open G string in there. Down, 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 up, down, up. Followed by G. You can play regular G, but you might as well play Tom Petty G since it's a Tom Petty song. Pinky finger on baby E3, ring finger on big E3, and middle finger on A2. Same strumming pattern. Down, 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 up, down, up. And the fourth chord is D. Down, 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 up, down, up. So it starts and ends on D, and when you repeat, you'll play D again. D. A minor 7. last half beat of this strumming pattern, the last up that you strum, is occupied by a strum, and that might give you the impression that you are expected to switch between chords in superhuman speed, but that's not the case. What you want to do is build in a junk strum, a strum where no fingers are on any of the strings in any of the frets, and that's the time you use to switch. So like this. Down, 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 up, down, up, and that's when you switch to A minor 7. Same thing. Oops, I played regular G, sorry. And as you practice that slow and speed it up, it just sounds like a natural part of the song. And if you listen carefully, you can even hear that that's exactly what Tom Petty did in this track. But of course, there's fancies. Nothing on the D chord. On the A minor 7 chord, your pointer finger is going to come off. On the G chord, this is exactly why we're playing Tom Petty G, because now your pointer finger is available to reach for that B string first fret, a C note that makes this G chord a G suspended 4. And on the last D, our pointer finger is going to come off, the first time anyways. You can do it as much or a little as you like as the song goes on. When the piano chimes in, we are offered even more things motion-wise to consider on the guitar. If you want, for instance, the D chord, we want the G string to go. Two, four, two, open. Not much to speak of for the piano anyways on the A minor seven chord. On the G chord, however, you're going to go. Open B string, just give it a pluck. Then G string 2nd fret with your pointer finger, open 2, and now that your pointer finger is on G2, you can use that as kind of your, your proprioception nexus point for switching back to your, your D chord. open E string suspended 2, and for that matter, you can sus 2 with the open E string, or sus 4 with the E string 3rd fret in your pinky to your heart's content, wherever there's a D, anywhere in this song. The chorus is no problem, regular old C, and I don't know if the guitar does this or it's just the backing vocals, but you can do it if you want. Make the B string go 1, 3, 1, open as you switch to G, do the sus 4 if you want.
This song starts on a D and ends on a D, so you might be thinking it's in the key of D, but it can't be in the key of D because the A chord in the key of D is major, not minor, A being D's fifth. The key of G, however, has a G, it has an A minor, it's even got a D and a C, so this song is in the key of G, but it starts on D, which puts it technically in the key of D mixolydian, which means that the scale for the solos and the noodles is not the D major or the B minor scale, it's the D mixolydian scale, so bust that out at parties, but this is Softball Sunday, so in order to noodle around in D mixolydian without having to get into it too much, we can think of it as our B minor pentatonic scale, which we know and love, right? 710, 79, 79, 79, 710, 710. But we're going to add to that a C note on the E string 8th fret, a G note on the B string 8th fret, another C note on the D string 10th fret, and another G note on the A string 10th fret. And you hear those notes come in, particularly with that guitar that goes if you grab 10s on E and B. And then the E string becomes 8, that's our C note. Then E becomes 7 and B becomes 8, that's our G note. So do all your normal favorite stuff in B minor pentatonic, you even hear the guitar in this song go but add in there every once in a while those G and C notes. For extra spice. Now I guess it doesn't end on D because it doesn't end, it just fades out. For all we know, it could still be going on. Thank you so much for joining me on this Softball Sunday, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that was fun and helpful, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.